Greetings and welcome back to Cosmo Tear, almost dead Saw Sector. Stead, Stead Saw Sector. Stead Saw Sector is a thing now. So, you may notice there's now a fleet here. I've not done much UX with the Pegasus. We have two Infernium supporters, which I think are equipped. They also both have hyper drives now. We have four Infernium Mark 6s supporting the carrier, which I absolutely still hate as a design. Where are we going? Next sector. This fleet is going to crush that thing and then move on to new Monocuous. I do have a couple more ships, as you can see in the bottom. See a little cluster of green? That's also mine. To give you a rough idea, I am recording this probably about an hour before I am releasing this and about 10 hours at 8 times speed or probably more before that, I have effectively cleansed most of this sector of resources. Not this ass... Uh, I'm going to start one, yeah, let's start one. Except for that asteroid field and this target here. But everything else has had me completely, utterly destroy it, sell it, use it to buy parts, resources and so on to build more ships. There is a shipyard full of equipment and resources back at that green dot. That is my home base and I will be showing it to you. You'll be seeing the grand base of the Imperial Fleet. Just probably not soon. But with this area cleared and this area cleared, which is going to happen, they'll give me access to the final set of resources for maybe another ship or two. Now, I'm not bringing the whole fleet through. Because it's a lot of ships, also I don't have enough crew. Right now we are kind of here, I need to be like sort of here, here I think. To get all the crew to be able to use them. So right now, we don't have all the crew needed. So I'm only bringing a small amount. I'm also going to be bringing in the Warmonger. The Warmonger is going to get updated, revamped and so on. But that needs more sacrifices. And the sacrifices are going to... Why are you two moving fast over everything else? That uh, sacrifice that needs is enemy ships. Or lots of enemy ships. Because, quite frankly, we just need more crew. Okay, here we go. We just need a lot, lots more crew. Okay, you go over here. You go over here. You push up to the centre. Here we go, here we go, here we go! First target gets a bite. Move up, move up, move up. Push on them off. Okay, you crush the might. The mighty might! Push in. Move to here, move to here. Toothpick. Okay, you engage the toothpick from the front. I love the design of the, of the moth. It's not toothpick, it's a moth. Okay, push in. You push up. Can you hit, there's a toothpick. We've got toothpick, toothpick. Okay, push, push and crush. Okay, both of you are going to take on that one. Good, good, good. Okay, you're going to push onto this one and crush it straight down the centre. But yeah, it's mostly going to be building up the fleet and pushing forward right now. And that's what it's going to be. Building up the fleet, pushing forwards. It's a shame the EMP stuff doesn't really work on the target. Okay, you're firing there. Who's targeting this one? Where are you targeting? What's it going for? To go for the. I'm trying to figure out what they're targeting primarily. It looks like they're going after the missile launchers first. Interesting. That's dead. Switch target. Okay, pull back to here. Engage that to the side. Yeah, they're going after the uh, after the missile ships. Interesting. Let's go after the rear of the PD. That's also interesting. Okay, strike that. Oh, look at that! Oh, I like that. We caught that at just the right time. Let's go. There we go. Holding, holding, holding. You pull back a bit. You're kind of in the way. With the new side thrusters, they are better at getting out of each other's way at least. Okay, 
Although this seems to require my people to actually be involved in, you know, staying where they're meant to be. Is everything dead? Everything is dead. Good. So every kill obviously is more supplies. Every single kill is more supplies. So we need those for the front line. Ooh, gold. So we're going to clear up and then we're going to push it to asteroid field. Then we're going to leave this sector. Because we need everything. Absolutely everything. In fact, sod the uh, asteroid field. We're going to the next sector. Or we're using our carrier. I'm not quite sure. There's a 50-50 chance of both right now. Cool. Let's see. How much is the damage? Uh, side bits again. The sides are the weakest point. Obviously, I've still got to sort out this bit here, which can be cut through. Maybe some protection. Uh, that's fine. This took a little bit of damage on the front and the side. That's fine. The side armor protections are pretty good. PD took a bit to the rear. That's why it's got those... Um, Tra trailing tails. Okay, everything's mostly fine. The bigger issue I'm going to have is supplying these things. Because obviously I'll be needing iron. So I'm going to have to send the carrier back into what it, what's left of the asteroid field nearby. To grab some more iron to trade with. And that will help out even more there. So send the carrier in to grab a bit more iron. And I think we've got sulfur. Got sulfur. Plenty of iron. And let's begin the invasion of the next sector. Here we go, the fleet is finally on the move. Supplies have been taken. Apparently not as much iron as I'd like, because obviously all the iron is basically gone. I'm obviously turning all the iron also into spare plates, because we are using it for uh, production. Support carrier is in fact a support carrier. It carries the troops and the resources into battle, but crew, like I say, is an issue. We don't have enough for all the ships. I've basically built the ships. And then I've abandoned the ships. So I have a load of abandoned ships. But they are abandoned. And they have no crew. But I can reinforce them. So that's uh, that's where we are at with the other system. With the station and all that. So let's let's go get our crew. Let's kill, crush, and destroy. In a... Uh, you can see a few of them. Please ignore some of the designs. You'll start seeing things you shouldn't. Take two. Also, this ship also didn't have a jump drive. So now we are fully prepared with what's left. Let's do this. Okay, there we are. All jumping in. Some of you are staying behind. We will be back for you in the next fight. There we go. New Mongeus. The fleet is arriving. Some of it, anyway. The initial fleet. The, the advanced fleet. The assault fleet. We are now here. Obviously, there are going to be some missions we still can't take properly. Oh my god, guys, please stop doing stupid things. Just travel normally. The big issue we have with these ships is this one here. It can't do side range thrust too much to Pegasus, so it's having issues. But, we're holding. The fleet is here. The advanced force has arrived. Because the thing we have to do now is see how powerful the enemy are. I have never fought this faction before. Properly, anyway. Never properly fought this faction before. So this is going to be interesting. Okay, tier 8 phalanx heavy. What we've got? Two cannons, lots of shields, six, four heavy lasers, okay. Straight up hold the front. Okay, you're going to go around the rear. You're going to push straight through. You're going to hit the lasers from the side. There we go. And you two, straight up, hit it for missiles from there on the flank. Let's go. They're going to missiles. Hit. Hit. Looks like it took out one of the guns. That's a crewman down. Try to destroy that. Get 
The missile launchers are going down. That's a problem. Yeah, you're meant to be at the rear with the gear, not on the front line. If I can EMP these things, they should be able to fire. It looks like that's going well. Okay, good. Okay, I'm losing the. Uh, I'm losing this one. That's a problem. Go straight through. Go straight through. Good. 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 So yeah, it looks like they're still after the missile launchers as priority targets. That's a problem, but it is what it is. Oh my god, of course it is what it is. However, the wolf pack tactics are definitely working. I just wish, you know, right? They would be killing my... This, okay, one of the Inferniums is already completely gone. Was there a reactor up there? There was a reactor up there. That's an expensive replacement. How much crew is left? Yeah, okay, a few crew have died. Yeah, we just need to just carve it like a turkey right now. Oh, the first thing now, they went straight for the uh, these frigates. So we have to work on these guys. Oh my god. It just survived. But that's, that's more crew lost. Cool. Luckily, any lost crew means I can easily replace the crew because obviously I'm going to... Yeah, this one's going straight to the station. This one's going straight to the station to repair and rearm. Whereas the carrier's going to take up all the resources we just lost. Anything else took damage? Just a little bit. So a bit of repairs. First combat, uh, not the best, not the best. Yeah, you're definitely, uh, you're definitely going... Yeah, you're definitely going to the uh, station to repair. Give me more seconds. Oh, a combat over here just happened as well. Okay, I've been able to use every single bloody supply I have to repair that ship. It took most of my good supplies. I'm now out of hypercores. I've got a couple of my enriched uranium left. We need a target. Especially to get the crew back. We need a target and we need it now. So this is going great. Going absolutely bloody great. Oh, what a waste. What a waste of life. What a death. Okay, let's grab a mission. We're going to jump the carrier, I think, and grab more supplies. Let's do this after I grab all of this. Do this after this. We need the supplies. Yeah, look at that. I'm down very... Ugh. Supplies. Please give me more. There we go. So another thing I need to do... Oh, I love that design. Very important, this one. Grab that. Grab all the bounties. The limit's already pretty bloody close. And I think we just hit the, hit the limit. So now we need to kill rank nines. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, let's grab some extra ammo. Grab the missiles. Grab the iron while we're here. Okay, good. Grab all of that. I want to grab this cannon ammo factory, the EMP missile factory, and the explosive charge. Okay, good. We'll be needing all of those for reasons and things. Let's start doing bounties for money. Because this is going to be cool. So kill this, and let's see what it gives me. Oh yeah, my ships don't have missiles. That could be a problem. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We don't have any missile ships. That's more of an issue. That's, yeah, that's a bigger issue. Why is everyone going so slowly? I haven't repaired the engines on this Infernium! Oh, come on! Okay, another ship is down. More technical issues. Okay, here we go. The fleet is on the way to attack over here. As you can see, I'm trying a different positioning out, so these are over here. One of my ships has been fully repaired. You can see him just arriving, the Infernium Mark 6. 
Both the supporters still have missiles left, apparently. This ship, however, has a bit more damage than I'd like to see. So this might die. But yeah, you can see over here, this one still has a lot of missiles. And this one still has 12-ish missiles. So, you know. Good enough. Which one are you? Okay, fugitive, here we go. Turn, 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 turn. Or not. Echo, which one are you? I'm so glad I didn't have one of those. That would have worked. Get it in the front. Okay, good. Already here. Go for the side. Go for the side. Yeah, so straight up, they're going to go round. Okay, you're going to hit it from the flank. You're going to hit it from the flank. Wait. Oh, you're the support. Of course you are. You're a muppet. Both stay back there. Let's go. Get in. A railgun is going straight for my bloody supporters again. Here we go. You're going to ram them. Uh, okay, that's a problem. Okay, missiles are firing. Okay, good. That's actually hit the rear. Yeah, it's going... Okay, so we need to sort out uh, defences for my missile ships because they are being prioritised to heck in a handbasket. That's the second time. Retreat to there. There's another ship over here. One, two, three. Okay. Push rail to here. Push to here. Okay, the Inferno was being hit. Missiles are now striking this thing in the side. Go, 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 go. Get out of there. Okay, the Inferno, the Inferno 6 is down. Well, I like the fact it's changed targets, but I'm not a big fan of the fact it's changed targets. That one's gone. Cut in half. God damn. It's more maneuverable than I am. Oh my god, if I lose to one ship, this will be stupid. I just saw my railgun die. Oh my god, it's killing this one too! How is this possible? These ships are battle tested, they're effective! It's because they're all using EMPs now, isn't it? It's because they're all EMP based ships! Oh my god, I'm about to put a marker where this fleet died and bring the next fleet in. Kill that, kill that, kill that. Oh my god, guys. Uh. Yeah, these things need better for, for reverse thrusters, that's fine. Beams are still being manned for some reason, even though I have the crew. God damn it, guys. Okay, there's there's minor teething issues on the advanced fleet. Can you tell what they are yet? I bloody can. Oh my god, so it's a bit dangerous. I do not have the same silent movability as they do either. That's a thing I'm now learning. But yeah, one ship down. 
Several badly damaged. That's on fire. Oh my god. So yeah, we need less EMP for actual shield breaking and ship breaking. And they do prioritise the missile launchers. Which is a bigger issue. Although not as big as... You. Yeah, the cut in half one. Oh well, time to rearm and resupply. Bloody hell. Okay, so the advanced forces taught me I'm very good at killing ships unless they have armour. In which case I need different designed ships. I've also been taught that they prioritise missile launchers if they get the chance. So two support ships are always prioritised. Which is surprising to me. Very surprising to me. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to buy uh, more diamonds. Cool. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Alright, so yeah, more crew. Uh, uh oh. And more diamonds are needed. This has been enlightening. Been very enlightening. So the support ship, this one here, needs to be more beefed up because they need to prioritise this. And they're not because I think it's because it's only got one flag battery. So I need to make this better. But then we'll see how things go. This is kind of sad. The gunners are still in the front of this ship. Uh, abandon it. Yeah, abandon the front. Salvage the rear. What a sad situation. Can't even get the reactor online. So this ship is now dead in the water. And we're out of supply. Oh no, the ship's annoying. So this ship's dead in the water. Uh. So yeah, Force Recon has taught me... I need to bring back some of my heavy laser weapons, as opposed to just EMP everything. And yeah, people still say the ships get in the way of each other. Yeah, they do. They go, oh, you shouldn't build them like that to get in the way, you should build them better. Yeah, unfortunately, most ships will get each other's way no matter what. They've got a longer circle to get around, so they just do that. So, you know, 50-50. But yeah, Force Recon to the second sector, not gone well. I may have to go back to the fleet and bring back some of the other designs. And also repair the Infernium Mark 6, which is missing in the front. So now I need to buy more supplies. I'll meet you next time for more supplies. Yay!